community impact? What sorts of communities can homeopathy maybe have the biggest impact? Well, there's four levels, four communities um, that I think about. The first is the local community. Um, our school is um, partners with other like-minded institutions to create a positive impact on healthcare here locally in Phoenix and in Arizona. Uh, we provide healthcare services for uh, low-income patients, uh, free uh, clinical services, um, as well as pharmacy support for patients who are looking for um, homeopathic medicines that can't seem to afford, you know, the usual costs and that kind of thing. Um, our services, our medical center provides uh, care for a variety of populations, which include a general adult population, pediatrics. We can see a lot of kids. We have a fertility clinic, uh, women's health issues, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So a lot of targeted clinics as well as our general health clinics that we offer. Uh, the second level would be national, and that is working on a national level to promote, uh, first of all, legislation uh, that would be more green or sustainable legislation. Um, we've partnered with a variety of organizations um, to help lobby in Washington towards those kinds of projects, uh, as well as making alternative medicine more in the public awareness on a national level and doing a lot of uh, media work, uh, publicity work, to help the general public become more aware of alternative approaches mm -hmm. to medicine. Thirdly, uh, it's global. And um, we've been working with a variety of other countries and schools from around the world to partner to create a variety of opportunities for uh, the public, not only in the United States, but elsewhere around the world. An example is Homeopaths Without Borders, um, which is an organization that goes into countries around the world uh, and offers uh, free homeopathic care in those countries. Most recently, there's been a lot of interest and in a lot of practitioners going to Haiti, uh, providing quality care down there in terms of homeopathic services. Also, a lot of uh, work in Cuba, El Salvador, um, and to a lesser extent, Venezuela, of all the countries that uh, homeopaths, at least in the United States, have been targeting globally. Um, the last area that we're interested in in terms of community is the natural world. Um, one of the things that's unique about homeopathy, again, is that each of the medicines comes from the natural world. And so we've been working on partnering with uh, the mineral community, um, uh, geologists um, in our work. We've been partnering with um, the herbal community, the um, plant world, and people who represent the, those fields, um, botanists. We've also been partnering with the zoological world and creating relationships with the zoos and those kinds of things. One of the unique things about homeopathy is that even if a substance um, or an organism is going extinct in the world today, there are ways of preserving that, at least as an energy signature, um, as a medicine um, for uh, posterity. And so we've been interested in helping to preserve at least the medicinal um, focus of uh, various uh, plants and animals that have been um, moving towards extinction as a way of preserving their medicinal value for the future.